Hello everyone, my name is Phoenix. I'm the legal advisor for Exceed the Bar. We are a company who specialize in legal advisory or providing legal advisory and business psychology services. Uh, one of the services that we offer is to tutor law students and uh, to guide them through the various LLB modules. Um, we groom people for careers in law uh, and we also offer legal recruitment, uh, law recruitment to place candidate legal practitioners, uh, that is, uh, you know, pupils, candidate attorneys, um, in suitable positions. Our content is supplementary and complementary to all university uh, LLB degree modules. The preamble to the Constitution of South Africa lays out uh, several of our country's visions, but amongst these uh, visions is the imperative to free the potential of each and every person in this country. Uh, we recognize the potential of every person and we want every law student in particular to do well in their careers. Uh, to this end, we will seek to sharpen your legal prowess, your knowledge, your skills, and to guide you through your studies to a full uh, in-depth understanding of law. We will also help iron out any problematic subject areas that you may encounter. Uh, our offering includes practical visual skills and things that you may not be taught at law school or university. Our materials are loaded with tips and efficient ways of processing things in law. As part of our post-study services, we endeavor to offer law firms and their principals with best matched uh, students readily chiseled for their articles or pupillage and to place students on a solid footing to a career in law. You can browse our website at www.exceedthebar.com. Uh, our contact details are included at the end of this particular workshop. Thank you for joining us. Coming now to how to draw mind maps. Now well, there in the corner there you can see a picture of a globe with several ideas coming out and this is the basic idea of a mind map. Uh, but we're going to go through several and how to do it and how it will help you. So how to make a mind map. Here's an example. A friend of mine allowed me to use this. Uh, she did this uh, mind map on customary marriage and the requirements for validity of a customary marriage. It was learning unit five of the customary law course or African customary law. So you need to break your study guide or textbook chapter into its parts with brief summary under each part. And this one pager summarized four learning units, uh, well, chapters within the learning unit. And uh, it's nice when it comes to uh, revision for the exams especially, you can very quickly uh, find and see what you're looking for. So you need to start from the general and work your way to the particular. Uh, put the uh, chapter title in the center of the page and then put subheadings to it. So these four subheadings, one was the statutory requirements for the formation of a customary marriage. Note how she just abbreviates requirements. You should do the same because obviously it's going to save you space on your paper when you draw your mind map. Uh, learning Unit 2, additional requirements. Learning Unit 3, requirements for the validity of a further marriage. And the fourth lesson, transformation of customary law. Then as you read through each subheader in your textbook, your uh, study guide, just fill in the essence of what it's about. Boom, 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 you can see. And uh, what she also did was to use different color schemes. So be sure to include the key sources that are referred to in that particular chapter or learning unit or lesson and uh, use different colors for legislation and case law. It's going to make it so much easier when you just glance at the page. If you're looking for what laws apply, boom, you can just look for the red. What were the cases that apply? Just look for the green. 
whatever. She used her own color scheme. I would use a different color scheme in mine. But you get the idea. You can use whatever works for you. And for ease of reference and, of course, memory, put a few words about what the authority itself refers to. So in the case of Mabuza, it dealt with Ukumekeza. With uh, Maluleke, it dealt with the um, concept of Imvume, etc. Um, the case, yeah, well, I've already said that, and the RCMA Act requires judicial approval for further marriages. So very summary, very easy to fill in the blanks once you know the material, but it gives you a very quick reference technique. Uh, and this method allows you to see the big picture without getting in immersed in all the detail. Keep a notebook next to your computer to draw mind maps. Or if you're that skilled in uh, digital uh, and the electronic economy, just uh, use a, an electronic pen on a keypad and Bob's your uncle. Um, and of course, it's easier to do everything in landscape. It makes for more space. You can complete them in as much detail as you have time for, as long as they make sense to you. This was just very broad, very basic, gave a very good overview of the module, and you felt very confident after uh, having done this uh, mind map. And from this mind map, we have summarized 10 pages in this study material. So remember the rule of thumb, 100 pages to 10 pages. So if you're doing 10 pages, do one. Uh, just by looking at it, um, you are instantly oriented to the question concerning the requirements for customary marriage. Easy peasy, no? Uh, here, coming to example two, we've made another uh, variant of the mind map. This is like a little bit more visual with pictures about the public prosecutor or rather the public protector. And there's several elements that uh, get studied in that chapter on the public protector. Chapter 9, it's a chapter 9 institution. The functions, the purpose, the investigative court decisions, etc. And so you can work your way around it. Key cases, SABC versus DA, EFF versus Speaker of the NA and the DA. So it's the same principle as what we just looked at in the first example. General topic, slap bang in the middle of the page. Spread everything out that's handled in the chapter. Uh, again, the same principle. Use the categorization scheme to include your purpose, your requirements, your tests. Um, here again, same principles. So which authority applies, both legislation and case law. And you can see she's made it very graphic there. Uh, because she thinks in terms of pictures. So if you're a person that thinks in terms of pictures, this will work for you. Uh, and it keeps it simple. Uh, as uh, uh, It also keeps it very systematized. Uh, it's logical, there's flow to it, you can understand everything about that chapter on one page. Um, use your own illustrations, and here of course the constitutional provisions are shown. Here's a third example. Break a particular concept into its parts with a brief summary under each part. So this is for those who like writing things. Uh, this particular element came from, well, uh, uh, mind map came from the study of criminal law where we dealt with matters such as terrorism and comparing that to compulsion or necessity as a successful defense. As you get into more detail, you could just make hand notes like this. Um, look how she's uh, gone and uh, abbreviated again. Specific intention is required. It's very important. It's got star. Um, and of course, note the legal categorization she used here. The intention, purpose, elements or requirements. I can't stress this enough, guys. These are always asked in questions. See how to break down your optional elements in a concept. Use your illustrators to save space. Here a figure is drawn for a person. More than one figure is drawn for the plural of persons. 
<laughs> you understand um, mind maps are also excellent for tackling problem questions so use your own color coding scheme to spot where key info is on the page where the textbook and study guide spent over 10 pages on this concept of terrorism here we were able to sum it up all in one page see how easy it makes revising for exams if you do these sort of notes you can just refer to your notes and then you've got everything on your fingertips a fourth example here is to try to capture everything pertaining to that particular concept section or chapter onto one page again so here we were dealing with common law perjury defeating or obstructing the uh, course of justice contempt of court and statutory perjury comparing all four of these concepts and uh, crimes um, one mind map page has summed up about 45 pages of study material I mean come on guys this is what you want to do and you can write your exam from this page because once you've gone through it you understand it you've got you've extrapolated the key important information so think about it it makes sense to have 10 pages to revise uh, than to reread a 500 page textbook or in a 200 page study guide plus 80 court cases and 10 statutes for the exams of course in our study material we do simplify this for you because we give you you know through these videos uh, a combination of all these elements and we take you through uh, the various things that you need to study step by step so that it makes sense and together with the voiceover that I'm giving well I hope that it sinks in again note the legal categorization of info that you must know note that only the essence has been extrapolated check about the color scheme here she used a two-tone or maybe three um, and note the illustrators so it made sense for her it even made sense for me and we aced our criminal law exams with it thank you for listening to this video or watching it uh, please do share it far and wide these this particular course on how to study law uh, I am ceding the copyright on it so you're welcome to uh, because this is in your best interest it's in the greater interest of society I'm not going to charge you for this um, and this will go far in your career so we want good lawyers and not just good but we want great lawyers and we want to make you the best lawyer ever so go through this material let the info sink in apply it you have to get into the habit law is about doing things not just about listening sitting making notes it's actually about getting out there and doing things thank you please do watch the next video